So here I have my leather balm on the sponge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on the inside tongue first. And what you want to do is do small circles over that area because you know that is an area that suffers uh, you can put your hand in your shoe if you want to and that gives the tongue something to rest against and what we'll do is we go over the whole area don't don't be too skimpy on the leather balm because we want it to soak in a little bit um, to actually make our leather nice and supple and that allows the leather to give then when you're wearing your shoe um, so that you don't get those horrible cracks and creases. So once you've given your tongue a good coating, um, and as you can see, it's, it's sitting there and gradually it will soak in to the, to the leather. We'll then come to the toe. And as you can see, there's a little bit of dirt just here on the toe of the shoe. So the leather balm will help with that and it will lift it. Um, and then you get into this area here where the creases start to form. And, you know, it's no fault of the shoe. Unfortunately, it's where your toes bend when you're wearing your shoe and it causes the shoe to bend and form a crease. So... We've now done the toe, and as you can see, I've given it a really good go over there because um, we are going to wipe, or buff, I should say, buff this off in a moment. Um, so we want to give it a chance to soak in um, and give the leather a feed, really. Um, and it is nice, it's lovely stuff to work with. And you can see that it does bring dirt off as you're doing it. Um, if your shoes are heavily um, impacted with dirt, then I would always recommend to clean them first because the, the, the rehydration Although it will take small pieces of dirt off, it's not really a cleaner. You do need to clean them first. So we're going all the way around the shoe. Um, and my God, these are beautiful shoes. So as you can see, the sole of these shoes are really clean or the platform bit there. Now, um, what you can do there is one of my little tips is to use um, toothpaste with bicarbonate of soda. So literally you, you put your toothpaste on your toothbrush um, and then just gently scrub the sole of your shoe. And what that will do is that will naturally bring off any dirt that's on the shoe or your sole and keep it looking nice and new and clean um, and I do love to see the soles of my trainers white white so now we've done one side um, you can see I'll show you again it has brought some surface dirt off um, but there wasn't really enough dirt on there um, to go, you know, and give it a, a proper leather clean. So now I'm going to tip the trainer onto the other side and then follow through by doing the other side. And you can see the leather balm as it goes on. It's lovely. It's 
really rich and luxurious and it is really really um, feeding this leather and keeping it soft and supple and of course it also gives it a little bit of a barrier um, for rain um, it, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't say that it will make it completely waterproof but it will make it shower proof most definitely so now we've gone around the whole of the trainer with our leather balm so while I'm chatting to you um, about some other things I'm just going to let that soak in um, ready to buff this off in a minute so we'll pop our sponge to one side now with these trainers as I say they're from Saint and Sophia and they are absolutely stunning um, the inside of the trainers are all leather as well as the outside now we can take our sponge um, and I'd advise you to go the other side but we can give the inside of the trainers um, a little bit of a um, leather buff as well but we don't want to go too heavy because obviously um, that's going to impact on whatever shoe uh, whatever socks you're wearing so it's literally just give it a wipe over around there and just to um, let that leather have a little bit of softness there and to make it last um, so now I can feel that that balm has actually uh, soaked in quite a bit so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take my lovely soft bamboo cloth um, and I'm going to give that a buff up um, you don't need to do a lot because obviously it hasn't dulled the trainers in any way because that's not what our leather balm will do it will keep them looking really as good as new so I'm going to now wipe this through like so um, and just give it a really gentle wipe over and as you can see it's brought that tongue up to look as good as new so then we will do the same on the sides of the trainers and we're literally just very gently buffing those through like so and then we're going to do them all the way around and as you can see it doesn't take a lot but that little bit of work will actually prolong the life of your trainers immensely so now that is all done ready now to relace again and for you to wear out now I have got some lovely tip here. Previously I have placed a spoonful of bicarbonate soda in our um, fragrance bags. Now these are full of all the beautiful natural fragrances. So with my spoonful of bicarb in my fragrance bag I am going to pop that into my shoe push it down slightly now what the bicarb does bicarb will absorb sweat out of your shoe and then our fragrance bag will leave the shoe smelling absolutely divine so um, you will never suffer with smelly shoes either so this is my tutorial today on rehydration 
for leather. I'd like to thank Saint and Sophia once more for their beautiful shoe, shoes, I should say. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget, anything you'd like to know, anything you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to contact us. And we're only too happy to help. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.